Hey, Miss Christian here. So today we are headed into Kroger. I definitely need to do some much needed grocery shopping. If you guys have not seen, for everyone who receives, have received the pandemic government assistance or food stamps, they will be cutting that short for my state. May is our last time receiving it. No fruits. Get your fruit trees, everyone. Get your fruit. Start planting planting you some um, get you some fruit plants. Get you some vegetables. Start putting stuff in ground. Like so here goes that. So already with them cutting things short or cutting they're cutting the pandemic food stamps um, off from my state. May is our last time getting them. And they're also cutting the pandemic um like right now you get the full amount no matter your income level so it, it was people you know people work and receive government assistance but they might have been receiving thirty dollars okay in my state they will get the whole two hundred dollars um two hundred and something dollars even if they still work the same job still get the same income so they were doing that so i was getting the max for my household size which is a household of five so the vegetables, they look pretty, mm, you probably have to go through them to get some that looks a little bit better, but you could tell already they going, like they're going bad. Keep on stocking up. I don't know about your state, but in our state, over 80% of our fruits and vegetables don't even come from our state already. And somebody has said look at the napkin or something that's in there in the container and see how if the napkin is um, soaked through that's how you know that the the strawberries in the middle might not be bad okay we like I said we don't have like napkins or anything they just put it in the plastic container fresh and delicious so these red seedless grapes right now are $5.99 so I'm gonna grab some of these the green seedless grapes are also $5.99. Um, bananas, they are $0.49. Cents. What is a pound? Most of the time when I come, all the bananas are green. I don't know if you notice that in your grocery store, like none of them are ready. Red potatoes. The red potatoes are for a bag is $3.99. for this sweet potatoes I like to save the pantry for people who don't get any kind of assistance who don't get any assistance or their assistance is so low that they're only able to you know buy a salad or a couple of like one meal I rather save the pantry for them since I know that I get at least enough you know I get I get more than them let's say that my was it my gala yeah my gala apple tree from that i had got from kroger it has not bloomed yet but i did post a picture on my community tab my red delicious apple tree did bloom so that's good news <laughs> cantaloupe is 2.99 these are black seedless grapes i've never had these before i've never had black seedless grapes they are 5 dollars as well. Comment in the um, comment section below. Have you guys ever had black seedless grapes? Pineapple over here. There are many pineapples. And I had seen something to where um, you can grow your own pineapple for a, from a pineapple. So I would I want to do this with the kids. They said get the ones that are yellow. Get the ones that look like they just about to um, go bad. So I'm gonna get their $2.69 a piece. Get one. So I got five of those. So that'll be a good project. So let me know if you guys want to see us do that. It was a video I seen on YouTube. And from 
pineapples, you can actually create your own pineapple. You also have to understand, guys, it's, it's free food. So with the food stamps, I have with food stamps, I have bought fruit trees. I have bought seeds. I use um, like the celery that I buy for my food stamps and I regrow that. So I'm trying to stretch my food stamps as much as possible. So I need more ground turkey. Let's see, they have it on sale right now for $3.99 and then they have the digital deal for $2.97 so you can get an extra dollar off um, even from the sale. Kroger size that I get the bigger size which is three pounds. Three pounds is $8.99. And like how this one shows $3.99 for this size, these used to be $5.99. Lunchables are still $2.29 here, but I did find them at Dollar General for a dollar. Then I have to get me some turkey, cotta, salami. So I'm going to do a voiceover because the music was very loud in the store. I am going to pick up some apple juice for the kids. I always do that every time I come to the store. And it's the no sugar added, the Kroger brand kind i also picked up one of these this apple juice is so good once you taste this apple juice you will be able to tell the other apple juice is fake vegetables no artificial flavors let me see where is the ingredients ingredients so here are the ingredients it's, it's a tomato paste so i guess that's the hidden vegetable but i am so these are 349 the white cheddar is the one that's 249 and they're close they're going to be closed out so i guess they're not bringing them back So I'm gonna grab three of these for my babies to try out. They can have one a piece. This is what we probably have for dinner tonight. I really don't feel like cooking. <laughs> so I got two of those. So for the place that normally has water, if I can't find it right there, which, you know, that's because there's just been shortage of water. If I can't find it there, it's usually a whole stack here. You've probably seen it in my other videos. It's usually a whole stack here. Now this is just patio furniture. So they literally don't have any water. So I want to grab some of this mashed cauliflower. Because I'm probably gonna make some mashed potatoes with something <laughs> and my baby who can't have mashed potatoes, he can't have white potatoes. At least I can make these. And so if everybody else's plate has mashed potatoes, his can um, just have the, the mashed cauliflower. And it's good, so I might, I need to be eating it too while I'm talking about him. I'm gonna also grab some waffles. These are $2.99. They love this kind. Um, always organic or organic, they are gluten free pumpkin spice and they are also vegan so they don't have eggs or dairy or anything like that in there if you don't eat red meat or you have an allergy of red meat um we don't eat red meat because like i said my my baby he just has a lot of allergies hopefully he grows out of them but he's four we we are hopeful but until then you know he has to just be on a restricted diet so these right here chicken and maple i was so happy when i found these they are expensive, they're $4.99. They, they were like $3 when I first started buying them, but they have increased in price. And so I'm going to get 
uh, probably whatever they had because these they will go through them and at walmart they carry like the big bag of them here they only carry the ones in the box if you have children so i'll do like this with the pumpkin spice waffles and then i might put them some fruit um or something to the side and that's their breakfast in the morning so i never heard of this brand for laney it says three cheese and they are on sale right now for $1.99 they don't have any of the kroger's brand and they only have texas toast which is almost four dollars i'm like addicted to this juice i hate when i start liking something simply lemonade raspberry so good $3.99 get the pulp free you already know toddlers <laughs> i'm also gonna give me some kombucha they have these two for five they have the lemon cayenne which i do not like hot stuff they have the ginger which is also kind of hot and they have the lime So I'm just gonna get this kind. These are $10 per one. I'm gonna give me two. If you guys don't eat meat at all, this plant-based um, plant turkey style is really, really good. Now it is high in sodium. Um, it has a lot of sodium in it, so that's something to look out for, but it's really good. These are good too. If you haven't tried those. I have these on sale right now for a dollar ninety nine. I'm gonna get these for a dollar ninety nine. And this is all plant based meat, so it's not real meat. This ain't supposed to be over here, y'all. <laughs> they like, okay, let's see if you're gonna pick this up vegan. Let's see if you're gonna pick this up vegetarian. So that's the diet slices. It's three ninety nine. Follow your heart. I do like this mayonnaise. I used to get this mayonnaise. I used to get the soy free. So if they don't have my Hellman's, then I get the soy free um, veganaise. Real good. It's $9.49. And so, of course, it's vegan, so it does not have mayo. It doesn't have egg in it. So, and I also came over here to get some of these wonton wraps. They are $2.99. And they're vegan. And I wanted some, uh, and I'm gonna get some of these vegetable tofu. They're vegan. I don't even know if they are $4.99. So I'm gonna get a couple of these. I'm also going to get these. They are vegan egg roll wraps. So, and they are $2.69. So the wonton and the egg rolls are $2.69. So I'm going to get both of these because they've been out of these. Also going to buy a few cookies. I like, I love Sweet Lawrence. They are gluten-free. They are gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based. They're peanut and tree nut free. So for these, I keep some at home, but they're mostly to go to daycare because daycare has like cookie day where they'll bake the kids cookies and different things like that. So he won't be left out. They, I also, everything that I buy at home, I send him with a duplicate of it. Like, you know, the sunflower butter and things like that. I send him with a duplicate of it to daycare. So Kroger, they also have a brand. They're vegan, they're not gluten-free. They're just vegan and they're $2.99. So their brand is really, really good too. So I'm gonna get some oatmeal. The oatmeal raisin, they love those. So he he's not gluten-free. He was strictly gluten-free. Now he can have gluten, but I have to watch it. Um, I have to watch it. He can't overdo it. So I try to get as much gluten-free stuff as I can. Definitely need oat milk. And it is two dot two for six. So I'm gonna grab two. So we switched to white bread about a year ago. Um, I really am not a bread eater like I used to be, but my kids are, and I found out that this is better for my son than wheat bread or whole wheat bread. We I even cut out the brown rice out of our diet um and just switch to white rice when we want rice 
I came across a book. It's called uh, Plant Paradox by Dr. Gundry. He used to be gluten-free. So we used to do all the gluten-free breads. I'll show you. They were $5.79 and up per like half a loaf. So I had him gluten-free and I noticed that he was still having inflammation. Like his skin was broke out really, really bad. He was having stomach pains. Um, and it was pretty much nothing else the doctors could do. They had already gave him so much, so many different medicines. So it all came to his diet and what he was eating. So that's when we had went vegan. That's when I started cutting stuff out of his diet. And I came across Dr. Gundry's Plant Paradox. I will put it up on the screen, but I learned about lectins. So I learned that he does not have a gluten allergy how I thought it was he actually is allergic to lectins so with that white bread end up being more healthier for him than wheat bread than the gluten-free bread um and everything else that I was exhausting myself buying now the white bread he has no problems Oh wow, they're closing this out. It's 429. 
um this right here is so so good it's a mushroom blend it's so good i make tacos with it so and like if even if we don't want to use meat like if i don't use meat and i just want a taco with mushrooms and all of that this is so good just to warm up it's easy and i can just put my toppings you know on it and my cheese and all of that i actually forgot to get some of this they are 2 dollars i'm gonna get some more leafy romaine get some baby spinach and this is $4.99 and it's wick approved so I all the fruits and the vegetables um my wick I get a little bit of money on my wick and I can use it for my fruits and vegetables that looks good five dollars these right here these are five dollars and so I'm gonna grab Two of these and I um, take these to daycare for my baby and so I am licensed by the health department so I could like make everything from scratch but you know the health department doesn't know that if they visit the daycare or the you know when they have their inspection so like for cookies for baked goods for any kind of food product if it's getting fed to the kids it has to be from a store um, with like the ingredients and everything listed. The soda was like 4.41 or something. So I'm gonna slide my wick first. And so wick um, paid for 51.58 and hit okay. And so that was approved. And then I'm gonna slide my food stamp card, snap card, whatever y'all call it. <laughs> And I'm gonna hit food and put in that. And then 1069 is what's left over. And I'm gonna do my debit card for that. So 1069 was the pull-ups for bedtime. Total with food stamps came to $381.52. That was a great shopping trip. This is gonna fill our refrigerator up. This is gonna definitely fill the pantry. It's going to um, fill up the snack selection at my at my kindergarten school and it's gonna fill up the refrigerator at my toddler school for at least three weeks so if you guys like this don't forget to hit the thumbs up thanks for watching until next time 